Okay, so uh, this is Hawaii This Punch from Low Key High Entertainment and Hectic Games. I just wanted to uh, run something by because I, I kind of noticed it. Um, but your settings, your um, engine scalability, right? Um, I'm going to go back to Epic here because why the heck not? Um, but ever so often on the top left of your screen, you'll see this like red number. Uh, if, you, if you work in unreal engine long enough uh on on one specific game or one specific scene or something you'll see it um and there's like a couple little hints that you can go in to the the command prompt and change the pool size which i guess is cool you know but like it's only temporary because once you close the program um it'll come back up and it just makes your textures look really crappy um, so when you're developing something, you're like, oh man, I want to test the lighting, but you can't because the textures look like shit. Um, so this is a, this is a sweet short video on how to do this. Um, is that you go over to Windows, you go to your output log, and then you're going to type in um, texture quality. Um... I believe it's streaming. No, maybe it's dot. Well, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, this is it. Yeah, so you just type in texture quality uh, in the top. And then uh, mine says file scalability, uh, which if that's the case, you have to kind of find it yourself, um, which kind of sucks. But usually <clears throat> it'll have a... Um, a location as to where your scalability is uh, because I'm using 5.1.1 in this example um, I'm just gonna go into my files here and I keep everything in my my UE folder and it's got all my engines in it right so I'm gonna double click uh, 5.1 because that's what we're using right now uh, go to engine and go to config and then from here, there's something called base scalability. Right down here, you're going to scroll down just a little bit. And then uh, open that up, right? And then hit just uh, control F to bring up the find. And you're going to type in this exact thing. Like I said, I just did it. So um, it's under streaming dot pool size. Hit that sucker. And you're going to be um, <clears throat> grafted with a couple of them, right? Um, so texture quality is zero. Uh, leave that at 400. It, it's going to be 400 by default. Just just leave it there. It's not important. Um, what you want is quality 1, uh, 2, or 3, depending upon what you're using. Um, and what I mean by what you're using is when you go to the settings here and you go to engine scalability, uh, you have cinematic, you have epic, which is 3, high, which is 2, um, medium, which is one, and then low is the zero tier, right? So right now I'm on epic settings, so I don't really have to change. No, I don't have to change anything else, but number three, which uh, by default was at a thousand, so I just bumped it up to two thousand. Um, I think I'm actually wanting three thousand for that, uh, just because my computer can easily handle it. Um, I would suggest 3,000, maybe 4 if you're running on epic settings and the cinematic doesn't blow you up. Um, but yeah, just just go into uh, the pool size area here, and then this is the only number you're changing. Is you know, So what I decided to do from 1 to cinematic is just doubling it. So originally it was at 6, I changed it to 12. Um, 800 was 1600, um, 1000, I changed it to two and now I changed it to three and then this was three and I changed it to six. Um, so just file, save, close that out. And all you have to do is close out your, um, uh, your, your editor window and just reload your project. And when you reload your project, you'll be able to stand in here and you will never see that stupid red thing that pops up for no stupid reason. Uh, so that's that. Uh, 
Um, hopefully, yeah, like I said, I will get that uh, that options menu uh, either tonight or tomorrow. But um, that is how you fix the texture streaming pool uh, overbuild red nonsense uh, like permanently. So um, super sweet, super simple. Um, yeah, like I said, hit that like and subscribe button and let's move on.